Hello gamers! Today, I've got some good news and bad news. Thorn of Liberty is actually getting delayed next year for the global version, but they're still on time for the Korean version later this year. We'll see how it goes, right? The big question is... Why is it getting delayed? Well, I'm pretty sure all of you guys have been following the game know that it's getting delayed because of the astral play, which is it, it has autoplay, but that's not the real real issue. The real issue was that you couldn't move at all during combat, so you you just had to sit there and watch your character attack and spam skills. The combat just didn't feel at all satisfying as it they made it look like in the trailers. There was a lot of other issues that the game had, or stuff that wouldn't sit too well for the western audience. Uh, I don't know if I should go over through them. It's like throwing hot oil on the burning fire, right? Even though it's been months since the test, people st are still scarred by like the, the combat and autoplay. Uh, I guess I could tell you guys about one feature that, that, that I can go over right here. So as you can see here on the screen, you have like 15 contracts and you could add a little bit more. These are like your daily quests, right? But if you use real money currency or cash shop currency, you can get 20 more quests daily. And these the rewards from these quests are much better than the free ones that you get from daily. So yeah. Now I know a lot of people didn't really spend too much time playing Throne of Liberty. Um, I, I think I spent like maybe 80 to 100 hours playing the game. I don't know why, I, I just ended up, for me it was a, an okay experience since I'm used to like all the mobile, mobile game aspects, right? But for someone coming from like NA to EU or you know from the West, I don't think, I don't think most of the mobile game features are going to sit too well. So if they really want to improve the game more, they're probably going to have to do like a survey on it on the upcoming closed beta for the global version later this year. A lot of people on my stream ask me the question of like, hey, do you think this game is gonna survive or is it gonna do well? I always tell them that, hey, you know, in Asia, there's a market and there's gamers for these ga people who like, who enjoy the gacha mobile game aspects, even on PC, but for the West, Ain't no way. I I don't think it's gonna sit too well in the West. So if they if they're gonna if the, Amazon is planning to localize the game, they're gonna have to make changes to like the one I just showed you earlier, right? Where where you get premium quests. I think that has to go, or they have to revise it to like not twenty, because if you, 20, 20 premium quests is a lot of like paid gems compared to like I don't know if you less it down to like five at least. That way, at least if you, you sell a weapon. Or something, an item in the cash shop or auction house. You, you can at least buy the five quests, but I don't know. I feel like they'll have to remove it. <laughs> anyway, like I said earlier, there's a lot of stuff that could be improved. I I could make like a whole 30 minute video of it, but we're not gonna go there because we're not gonna roast Amazon and Throne of Liberty. I'm pretty sure people are gonna figure it out later on. And there's a closed beta coming up, right? So hopefully you guys will put some input feedback in the upcoming closed beta whenever you get a chance to try it, if you get to try it. And hopefully the beta is not delayed, but I think they'll, they're surely going to have a beta, right? Because it's scheduled for next year and it's coming out in Korea later this year. So we'll see how it goes. I believe they'll probably you know, keep the autoplay, but if they do remove the autoplay, that's going to be big because they're gonna need to adjust all the drop rates, like ch make changes to the fights, since some bosses are static and some have mechanics. It's gonna be super crazy if they end up removing autoplay altogether. Yo, can you imagine if they change the combat to like action combat? Uh, I, I don't think they're gonna do it though. They'll probably make it so that um, you can move around combat, right? That's the easiest way you can like make some slight changes to the game without Without making too big changes to everything else, um, they might keep the autoplay. They might not keep the autoplay. What do you guys think? Do you think? Do you guys think that they should keep the autoplay or not? If anything, they might just make or keep the autoplay combat, and they'll be like, "Hey guys, uh, Throne of Liberty will have auto combat, but if you guys are want pure action combat, we're gonna we're planning on releasing like Ion Two or like Lineage Three in the future." Well, Ion Two is still in development, and they said there's no delays on it, so. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. 
That should be all for today's Throne of Liberties news. Um, once again, it's delayed next year for the global version and it's scheduled for a release later this year in Korea. We'll see how it goes. I'm probably gonna play the Korean version because the game was pretty okay. It was alright. Aside from the combat, aside from the combat, the game was okay. The world is amazing. Like, if you look at my other videos, I have a bunch of tour videos that you should check out. and They're pretty good. Other than that, well, you know, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. It's your brother, Stepper, Stepper Bro, out.